Everyone say hi to Be Becca or Becky? Becky. Everyone say hi to Becky. Yeah. Step center stage. Move that so they can see. This is better, right? <laughs> Well, you put the mic in your other hand, and I'll hold this thing. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> uh, I just, um, the first time I met you, I had just gotten laid off from my job, and... That would sound so much sexier if you just stopped it late. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I met you in Springfield, Ohio at the Red State Q&A. Right on. And, and you had told me to keep working on my script. I, I quit film school and I found out your story and I kept working and then I got laid off and I kept working on my script and so I kept going and working on my script and I went back to school and I just moved here two years ago after five years of struggling and I got a job and I finally finished my script and I have a line producer and I have a script supervisor and probably after 10 years I've been going to film school. fucking miracle work. You took yeah. something, you took nothing and made something out of it. You yeah. fucking took an idea that you had, a whimsy, and you shaped it into reality. That, you're already ahead of 95% of people in the world who will just let a good idea die in their heads and stuff like yeah. that. So boom, you're ahead of the game. But now that you're there, mm -hmm. the next job begins, which right. is telling everyone about it. What is the name of the movie? Tell them. The movie's called The Blunt Truth. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a raunchy, sexy uh, stoner comedy about chicks because there's no stoner comedies about chicks. Fucking <laughs> and they're all they're all over a size ten because all the girl movies, <laughs> all the girl movies are like drinking Cosmos and in New York City and a size two and that's bullshit. Right, right. <laughs> So my story is about girls in the Midwest. Because one of your one of your best lines in your book was you wanted to make a movie for your friends. I want to make a movie about my friends. My friends aren't tiny. My friends are from the Midwest, Ohio, and we're stoners. <laughs> because you're in Ohio. <laughs> Basic country is stoner country. Hey, Dave Chappelle lives in my hometown. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, that fucking thrills me, man, because that, like, I love what I do, and I love, uh, I, you know, when you're, well, you spend your life as an entertainer with your head so far up your own ass and stuff like that. Um, one of the things I love about my job is the ability to fucking tell people, you can do this too. Like, this takes no special talent, and shit, I've been saying it for years. Like, talent is, talent, there's no such thing as talent when it comes to making pretend. You know what I'm saying? And that's all this is, making pretend. Like, talent is somebody who builds a combustion engine, or somebody who builds this building, because if they fuck up, people die and shit. But, like, if you fuck up and make it pretend, nobody fucking dies. It doesn't take talent to, like, be like, I'm Silent Bob. It doesn't take talent to be like, I'm Batman. Fucking Ben Affleck does it. So. <laughs> don't, don't let anybody ever fucking tell you, well, it's for talented people. Everyone is talented. Nobody is more talented than anyone else when it comes to this kind of shit. And this kind of shit is writing stories about your fucking friends. I mean, it's taking a snapshot of your life, fictionalizing it and putting it back out there so that you can sit in the theater and see yourself reflected. That's why I made Clerks. I'd always go to the movies, and I'd never see me and my friends reflected on the screen. And I would just be like, why? Why not? Like, how come nobody talks about the shit that we talk about. Why don't they ever make jokes about pussy in Star Wars? That'd be amazing. <laughs> and you did the same thing. You're sitting there going, how come fucking it's like thin girls drinking Cosmos? I want to see fucking stoners in plus size dresses and shit. Talking about dicks. Talking and about fucking. cock and fucking, yeah. <laughs> Fucking phenomenal. When do you think you're gonna start rolling or something That's like that? That's the thing we're waiting on finances and my line producer 
producers. She sold it some at SX, uh, South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. She's been trying to sell it out, but we're finalizing the script to what she thinks is sellable. Right. And that's about all we're at right now. Uh, try to find buyers and shit like that, but when it, if, if it comes down to a place where like, we don't have the buyers that we want, don't stop. Fucking do it yourself, man. Don't do it with no money. You can shoot it on a fucking camera now. What's your Kickstarter? Kickstarter as well. I mean, you can find a lot of support for people if you're like, apparently I'm gonna finance the movie. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think it is? Huh? How much do you think it is? That's not much. I mean, my. My producer even wants to contact James Franco about it, but I mean, we're, we're, that's why I came here to you. I just wanted to. <laughs> You're like, my girlfriend wants to go to the hot James Franco. I come to you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what? Do you, how much? What's the given ballpark? Um, uh, fifty. Fifty grand? Yeah, that's pretty that, high. I mean, it's it's not that. I, anything is fine with me. I just want to make it. Yes. That's all I want to do. When it comes to that, if it ever comes to the place where like we can't find fucking fifty grand or something like that. Just remember that if you shoot it, like you're, that's one more fucking thing that you can add to the resume. Like, so, uh, you know, people, sometimes people are like, I wanna be an actor, or I wanna be an actress. I'm like, that's great, it's fucking awesome. It's the noble work, more or less. Said, but if you just do that one thing, you're beholden to somebody else. You're always gonna need a job and shit. But if you can write your script and direct your script, then nobody can ever stop you from making a movie. So definitely go out and try to find fucking money. Let the people who are helping you try to find money and stuff. But if you can't find that money, do not let that stop you. Look how Absolutely. fucking far that you've come, man. Yeah. You can do this shit on a phone. Your passion is going to speak through. Um, All right, what did you want to ask? Did you want to ask anything, or just want to brag and shit like that? <laughs> that means the world. Honestly, like I like doing what I do, but I love more than anything watching other people start their journey. I saw Richard Linklater's film Slacker, and that made me want to be a filmmaker. And 22 years later, I like to pass that on because it, there's joy in storytelling. I mean, filmmaking is hard, it requires money and shit like that. It's not hard, like, you know, curing cancer hard, but in terms of expressing yourself, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of dedication, it takes a lot of getting a lot of people involved, and money figures are usually different than like just doing a podcast or something like that. So you've chosen the toughest of the self-expression disciplines to go after, but look how far that you fucking come, and that, thrills me. It's like a testimony, not just to you, but a little bit to me for being like, you can fucking do this. And you did believe me and shit. So that thank you for that. Man. You need your work. That's the issue. That's the part of it. When are you shooting? Well, we don't know yet. As soon as you get money, I want to be in it. Can I be in it? <laughs> Give him a mic back too. Give it up for Backy, man! Yeah.